Reggaeton Fest. Big up Vibes Hey, MSC TV. Down South Record Boss and Organizer of Jamaica's Reggae Song Fest, Joe Bogdanovich, is planning to spread the music festival beyond Jamaica's shore. And people, before we get into the topic, just remember, if you want these dynamic, detailed, and meticulously put together updates and topics on dancehall and reggae music, just remember, join the movement, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because without owning the movement, you can't move. You see me? Without owning nothing, you can't move. It's stagnant. And please, may I beg you, hit the like button. Just one second out of your time. Just hit the like button. Thank you. All right? Back in on the topic. For the festival 2025 staging, organizer Joe Bogdanovich is eyeing an early show date in Brazil. Right now we are looking at Brazil. The Down Sound Entertainer Principal recently shared on the Truth Is Real podcast. We are negotiating a deal in Brazil for May this upcoming 2025 year. Dubbed the greatest reggae festival on earth, Reggae Sumfest has long called Montego Bay St. James its home. Attracting locals and foreigners at the Catching All Entertainment Complex. It had its inaugural staging in 1993 thanks to Summerfest promotion, following a similar model as its forerunner, Reggae Sun Splash. Bogdanovich purchased the festival in 2016, driving transformative changes like the introduction of live streaming for those in the diaspora and worldwide who desire to experience the show. Looking ahead, the prominent businessman is ready to engage more proposal to take the festival to more countries. We're also looking at Ghana, he shared. A lot of people want reggae some fest there and we think we're ready to do that now. And we have a team that's very good and we got people that are reaching out too. So we're going to take them up on their proposals. Reggae Sumfest is unfolding at its usual base on Friday and Saturday with highly anticipated acts including YG Marley, Babyface and Beres Aman on the roster. Though his legacy in Jamaica centers around his work on the festival and with artists on his label, Bagdanovich is looking to launch other events. His team already has experience with the wide range of events offered during the week-long festivities counting down to the show days. When it comes to Down Sound, we are looking to produce other kinds of shows because we are interested in all sorts and kinds of music and being able to build the vibes of good and the production. A lot of fun and it's just music. For me, music is the message and keep the politics out and understand that you got to be able to represent yourself correctly and represent your country and give it some class. And sticking with some fest, dancehall artist Jada Kingdom, Valiant, Kraft and Marcy Chin did not perform on night one at the 32 staging of Reggae Some Fest over the weekend. On the heels of their no-show, the organizers released a statement. As per the statement, unforeseen issues caused the artist to not perform. Following that statement, On Stage TV released an interview with one of the organizers, Scatter Borel, who gave more details about Jada Kingdom and Valiant not performing at the event. According to Scatter, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if she had a discrepancy with the time of her performance or what. However, I am keen to hear from her what her issues were. I heard she stormed out upset. He went on to confirm that she was in the venue and looked relaxed before she left. He noted that he doesn't believe that an artist should walk out on their fans like that. He also recalled Valiant being in the venue. And on Valiant, Scatter alluded that Antaraj was the issue with the St. Mary artist. There's a lot of stuff that happened that was seriously beyond our control. You cannot bring 300 person or 100 person and try to dictate how the backstage is supposed to run. We had issues in separating Antaraj. We can't fool the backstage with one's Antaraj. We have to respect other person's space stated the music producer and businessman before outlining that a number limit was given to the artists. Valiant responded to scatter on the whole situation via an Instagram story post that he had since deleted. Unprofessional and unorganized, that's all me have to say. And if any media personnel wants an interview about Reggae Sumfest, I will definitely talk to them. The statement continues, because 
how we Jamaican star can deal with our own artists. It's a joke. And as humble as me be, man like people lie and try look hype. The post continued with a jab at Scatter pertaining to the entourage comment that he made about Valiant. Valiant said, Yo, shit my head, 100 man, dog, really? You are real belt, you know? <laughs> people, me wonder what that mean, what belt mean? Jada Kingdom is yet to comment on the matter. Notably, a lot of patrons were unhappy not seeing Jada Kingdom or Valiant perform. And Panda know the right that they some may do this and this I run through my mind straight. Yo, why Valiant have an answer? I don't know, Valiant move, yo, I don't know. Remember when I tell the man I make a run up more against Popcorn. That's why Popcorn don't want this, you know. And that's why Valiant have about 300 man around him right now. The man not in the box down. Valiant don't hear that. Him smart, certain way. It's him, but Valiant fees, him. And the man will say, yo, anybody, any interview, any news media wants an interview, we'll give it to them. Valiant, I have Valiant as somebody who love chat. I don't just know me I say this thing, I'm not disrespect him. But maybe every artist love chat or they mock the news. But Valiant is a youth and I realize, say, yo, any little thing he runs to social media, run to put it out there. Sometimes I have to just build that. Watch it. Fuck you, reach a cat and I know in age seven to the fair amount. Pray with me, I say, people. We well, you know I come from the street, right? We well, you know everything I'm going to get a fight, right? Come on, go out and sell out to some people, right? We just want to say, big up vibe start, you know, you're soon come and f*** up. Long time rival of Vibes Cartel, Mavado, shows support pertaining to his bid for freedom during a London concert. Mavado performed in the UK for the first time in 15 years on July 20th. However, while performing in London, Mavado faced several issues on stage, mainly having to deal with a crowded stage and production problems. The show had a huge turnout and the crowd was very reactive to the many songs that Mavada performed. However, the Kasafa P. Sentanji native said there were a lot of bad vibes at the show. This got so bad that Mavada walked off the stage at one point. He later returned to the stage to perform more songs. During his performance, Mavada stated, When you know I come from the street, right? When you know everything I do, I get a fight, right? Come in a boat and sell out to some people, right? I just want to say big up vibes cartel because I know you soon come a bum buckler to the road. After making a statement about cartel, he DJ lyrics from one of his breakout singles titled Last Night. Stick up in this, people. Sometimes I wonder if them artists are crazy or something. <laughs> they may know so the more them say, yo, you must come road, you have to come road. And the more them people are look around and say, you know, feel like I want to run this. Watch and see. People, I just suggest that that's how we mean things still. The Jamaica Court of Appeal announced in June that their decision on whether Vibes Cartel and his co-accused will be retried will take place no later than July. Hence, a decision is expected by July 31st. Vibes Cartel, I'm sure the best. That's how I can say, General. MSC TV.